Got Jasmine Alina from Northern Guilford Girls Basketball. Nine Hawk ladies just got a win. Jasmine is a senior first of all, senior season. Give me the scoop on how it's going so far for you. It's going pretty good. Um, I'm really enjoying it, working hard every day, pushing everybody. So, yeah, really enjoying it. Talk about the win tonight. What was uh, the team able to do to get this victory over Glenn? Pretty decisive win. You girls played hard, played well, and yeah. uh, a lot of people contributed. So talk about Absolutely. getting that win tonight. How did you Absolutely. girls get that win? It was good. We knew we had to come out strong, play our game regardless, um, play good defense, get in the passing lanes, get the boards, and just play our game, share the ball. We play good when we're sharing the ball, playing team ball. So. Talk about your role this year with the team. What's your role? I know you got to be a leader, but as a player on the court, what are some things you're doing as a player for the team this year? Um, facilitate scoring when I can, sharing, making the extra pass, just doing whatever the team needs me to do and being vocal on the court as well. And uh, as that goes, first half, I think four points, second half, 16 points. So you picked up the pace in the second half. Did you look to yeah. maybe look to the arms, look to the rim a little more in the second half to get some more points? How was that going? Um, my, my shots weren't really falling in the first half, so I knew I needed to get myself going by getting in the paint, getting some layups, and then stepping back out and just relaxing and taking my time. Are you enjoying your senior season so far? Absolutely. Yes. What's it like a little different playing for Coach Josh now than it was playing for Coach Furlow as she was a leader now? Coach Josh has taken over. A little bit different perspective with the team, a little bit different leadership type role. Yeah, it's similar leadership. You know, he was a, he was on the staff with us a couple years ago, so it's fairly similar. He's got the same mentality, pushing us to be the best upholding the standards of this program so I'd say it's fairly about the same and, and it's definitely holding up the same standard for sure. Can you see this team going in the same direction the previous Northern Guilford Night Hope girls teams have gone headed toward the conference championship maybe a possible uh, good run to the playoffs again? Absolutely that's the expectation. Congratulations uh, good to see you again as far as it goes Jasmine Harris Jarvis's daughter his mom is the principal over at General Green so she might be a teacher you never know one day. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. And keep up the good work. Keep working hard. Keep the smile on your face and keep doing what you're doing. Will do. Thank you so much. Lena the fresh one. Lena McField. Lena, talk about uh, what it's been like this season to come in. Kind of give me your perspective and your thoughts about uh, being with these not hot girls. What's it been like? Um, it's a team of, like, we all love each other. It's, like, it's really fun. You know, I haven't been. This is my first year of high school, so it's a, not, it's a lot new for me from where I was in middle school. But How much different is it on the high school than it was in middle school? What's kind of different about it? Um, I have teammates, and I have help, and I have, you know, everybody at the high school level can pretty much put the ball on the goal, so it's good that I have teammates, that I can make a pass, you know. You seem to be having fun out there, too, though. I mean, on the yes, sideline, I saw those handshakes, and those little gestures. You and uh, I think Caitlin Newsom had a little handshake going there, good fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun being with these girls. You're probably getting to these yes, girls sir. pretty well now, and the upper class are getting to kind of blend in with them, too. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now your goals for this season. So Lena McField goals she set for herself for this year. What are some of the goals you have? Um, I'm, my, one of my main goals is to, you know, of course, um, pass the ball, you know, get to my teammates and um, average about 20 and average a lot, or a lot of rebounds, about 10 rebounds, five assists. Five steals. I just want to have a stat line of like a lot of stats. Tell you what, you're on that baseline a lot too. So hanging on that baseline, there'll be some opportunities to get those rebounds. Sometimes uh, you got to go over the game inside and get those big boards. And you wear the number three. I heard yes, about sir. that, about the semblance of your brother. Also, yes, the number three is pretty good when you shoot those threes because you're nailing the threes and feeling pretty good about that three-point shot yes, tonight sir. too, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What brings that three-point shot into range for you? Um, I just remember to step into my shot, and it just goes in nine times out of ten. Talk about the importance of that wearing that number three for your brother who passed away in that car accident, I think it was. Um, his number, it just represents, you know, like leadership and like execution. Like he was a really good baseball player and I just want to keep on his legacy. Talk about your brother on the varsity team. What do you what do you do to help him out as far as his game? I know you're going to be rooting for him. The boys yes, are playing. Yes, What's the things you do to encourage your brother? I just tell him keep going. Like don't worry about your coach. Don't worry about all of that. You know, listen to your coach, but like at the same time, you know, be locked in and you know focus up. Who's your favorite women's basketball team these days? Um, I would say probably I like how Notre Dame plays and I like how LSU plays and South Carolina. South Carolina is doing pretty good right now. So LSU looks pretty good to you? Yeah. Okay. I know you know that southeastern part of the country pretty well, yeah. too, being there before. 
We had a good job tonight in the ball game. I think it was 28 points. Got a load Thank of those in the first half and found some teammates open in the second half. Yes, you and Jasmine together should lead this team and take them a long way. Always good to see you. Yes, sir. I'll never forget that uh, afternoon game when Eastern Guilford played Northern Guilford, the girls' middle school championship. I think you had 25 points at halftime, yes, and uh, Northern had 25. You got all those points. You girls won that game. A battle. You're still fighting, still working. Thank you for your time. Keep up the good work. Thank Look you. forward to seeing you do some great things. Yes, sir. Thank you. Lynn McField, Northern Guilford girls basketball.